or take. Now, finally this week, finally this week, Lithuania, or as it's more commonly known, I don't know, one of the Polands, maybe. <laughs> now, Lithuania's capital city is Vilnius, and not many people know much about it, which is why it launched a daring tourism campaign this week. And I could tell you about it, but I think it's probably better that you just watch it for yourself. real. That is real. The new tourism campaign of Vilnius is Vilnius, the G-spot of Europe. And if you're thinking, why is Vilnius the G-spot of Europe, which admittedly sounds like a riddle on a popsicle stick you'd find in Roman Polanski's freezer, well, according to this actual poster from the campaign, it's because nobody knows where it is, but when you find it, it's amazing. And look, look, that logic, I, I've got to give it to them. That logic is incredible, but by that logic, it also means that Vilnius is the Waldo of Europe, the Jeremy Piven's hairline of Europe, and the ID channel of Europe. Did you know the ID channel has a show called Wives with Knives? And another one called Southern Fried Homicide? And another one called Bride Killer? That's killer with an A. All on ID. And I realise no one knows where that channel is, but when you find it, it's amazing. It's basically the Vilnius of basic cable. Now look. It, it's clearly a bold tone for an official tourism campaign, and some in the national government were not exactly thrilled with it for a very specific reason. The government chancellor was dissatisfied by the fact the advertisement of this campaign will be published on International Orgasm Day, as well as before the official visit of the Pope in Lithuania. Okay, so first there, first... Don't worry about the Pope, he should be very into a G-spot campaign since his main thing is believing in something no one can scientifically prove exists. And, and second, you did hear right, International Orgasm Day was actually on the 8th, and that means you forgot to call your mom again. But don't worry, you can just send her one of those happy belated Orgasm Day edible arrangements, that's what they're for, she'll love it. Now, now, will this tourism ad make people come, literally or metaphorically? Well, no and no, respectively, but in a way, it's already worked, because do you think we were going to spend time talking about Lithuania tonight if they hadn't done this? Of course not. And that is why, if other cities are smart here, they will follow Lithuania's lead and come up with their own adults-only tourism slogans. Take a look. Tokyo, the prostate of the world. It takes some effort to get to, but it's worth it. San Francisco, the shower sex of America. Always a better idea in theory and wet in exactly the wrong way. Las Vegas, it's like the anus in that it's objectively unattractive and too many men refuse to shut up about that one time they went there. Oslo, Europe's clitoris. It's not so much that it's hard to find as that people have no idea what to do once they get there. Boston, the semen of America. It's white, gross, and weird. The North Pole, Earth's cervix. Once you hit it, you've probably gone too far. Venice, it's like an old man's testicles. Historic and sinking at an alarming rate.